people, what's good? Happy Saturday to you. It's a happy Saturday for me too, even though I'm still without lights. Thank God we have water. Thank God for a gas hot water heater too. <laughs> and thank God that it's cool outside. Thank God that my house was okay. Thank God that my neighbor's house is okay. Thank God that we are all still alive. And thank God that I'm still able to craft and make a little money in this downtime. So today's video is roach clips. Let's just call these beaded clips. We will not call them just roach clips because they are not just roach clips. However, these are alligator clamps that are, that were called roach clips back in um, back in the day. But I made these, and I'm gonna show you how I did it. This is a a blank, a separate roach clip, and then a wire, and then the end of it with some beads. I know that there are some people that go to Amazon and buy the alligator clips that already come with the stick included. I didn't do that. So there's a few different ways this can be done. I'll show you my way. But like I said, I've seen people go to Amazon and order the rose clips that already come with the stick. And the problem that they're having is finding the beads to fit that particular stick. So then you have to unravel the wires that apparently come around it in order to get your beads to fit. I don't know about you, but I'm not interested in buying a product that I have to break apart in order to work for my needs. So if I did that, or if you guys do that, just find beads with large enough holes that fit your, your wire thing. So what I did, I wanna say Michael's, to take this out because I plan to use it. Uh oh, you can't see it. It is uh, Omega. I bought a pack of alligator clips already loose. And then while I was looking for, let me show you guys something else I'll be working on. While I was looking for these clips, which are much shorter than the alligator clip things that I'm using. This is the size. See how short that is in comparison to this one? These are the ones I'm using for roast clips. These are gonna be my cigar uh, nubbers. So it, while I was looking for these, I thought that I would be able to use this. So I ordered these and then I realized, okay, that is way too long for somebody to use as a cigar number, but Maybe not. You never know. I don't smoke cigars. I don't smoke weed. I just, I supply the products. That's why I'm here. So, I mean, if they choose a longer one, and I'll show you some of the ones that I made, then absolutely, I'll sell you a longer one if you want to use something like this as a cigar number. But these are specifically for my cigar number. So that's another video. I'll show you guys that later. And they come in three different styles. So I have enough of these to make that. But I refuse to not use these. So I take the alligator clips. Like I said, these came from either Michaels or Hobby Lobby. These definitely, definitely came from Amazon, sorry. And then with this end, with the kind of head on it, I all I did... Let's get my E6000, old trusty. Slide some inside this groove because it's already open for you. Slide my metal piece down in here. Sit it upright. I sit mine on like a hard tile with a piece of um, laminate tile on top. And I just let that dry. I keep checking it to make sure that the E6000 isn't souping out the back, which it will. You just want to move it around constantly so that it doesn't adhere to whatever you have it sitting on. So this E6000, this, glue it together. Let it sit overnight. 
just and keep checking on it because this, the glue's gonna come out the back. You just wanna keep making sure that you move it so again, it doesn't stick to whatever you have it getting hard on. And then come back to it. So once that's done, and you can, you can shove it in there, I guess as far as you want, depending on the length you want, or you can get your wire cutters if you don't like the length of this, get your wire cutters that you're using for jury making and cut the wire to the size that you wanna use and do the same thing. So that, after a day, becomes this. And you don't have to have that wire around it that you see some people have at the bottom because your glue is already here. So I don't know if you can see that. You see how my, you can see inside. So all I need to do now, because it's in there, it's not coming out, it's E6000. All I'm gonna do now is get my jewelry pliers and close these clamps and then mash them down to further secure my stick, right? So that's what we're gonna do today. So after you do that, after the next day, you get this and you get your pliers. Let's go ahead on and do it. I take one side and pop it down. I don't know if you can see. One side is down. Focus, focus, focus. And then we're gonna bend the other side down. And I match mine both ways, down and in. And again, it's not going anywhere. So now, I feel like I'm doing a makeup tutorial when I do this. Focus, both sides are down, right? Okay, so now you can pull off that uh, bottom secure piece that keeps you from stabbing yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and add your beads. So let me put that back on, although I am about to make a set. These are the ones that I made already. And then I'll show you how I do it. I've seen people bead every few beads. I mean, glue every few beads or glue just the one at the bottom and maybe just the one at the top to keep them on. I'll show you guys my process. But this is one. Here's another one. I like to name my jewelry, at least my beaded products with my jewelry line, I name my pieces, my single pieces. If it's like a triple stack or whatever, I don't do that. But my single bracelet bead sets, I name them, here's the red one with the rose at the top. And then here's a pride one. With, with the uh, color letters in the middle. And then here's just a regular uh, black and white with the, I don't know if that's zebra stripes, I guess. We gonna go with that since they're black and white. So that is my process. Right now, I have my beads lined up to do a black and gold one. I was gonna do a black and gold one for a man because I realized none of these are for men. I mean, I guess it's up to the male's preference, but in my mind, they're not, and I got so many more to make anyway, so I figured I'll make some for guys. And that was my plan with this one. It's supposed to be black and gold, but then I ran across this little rose thingy then i'm gonna add to it so it is no longer for a guy so we don't have to do a guy another one but i'm gonna do this one while i'm on camera with you and show you my process with the glue all right so let me find something because i like to spread my glue out i use a toothpick to get my glue off whatever i have it squeezed on you know what i'll be right back all right i'm back with a little something to put my glue on. This is uh one of my towels that I used to make my coasters from. I got a case of them so that one won't be missed. Squeeze a little bit of your glue out. E6000 is ongoing. It does not 
stop once you start squeezing. So I squeeze a little bit and then squeeze from the top back down so it can kind of go back in and it still wants to ooze out. Hurry up and put your cap on. All right, so take your stick that you've already uh, closed. Pop off your bottom. I get my toothpick, stick it into my E6000 and start at the root. And I just start going up my stick. Now, again, you can do every other bead. You can do just the top and the bottom. I guess it's up to you and your preference. I don't want my beads to move. So that's what I'm doing. And then I slide a few on. And here, these are gonna be black and gold. So I put enough on. I put enough on where they slide right down there and I don't have to touch them by going all the way down. So right about now, I know that these beads are more than the amount of glue that I put on. So it's safe for me to slide these down and that's what I did. So we're already here. So these, there's no glue. These four, they probably have glue on them. I'm gonna start here again, adding more glue. And it's okay if your E6000 starts to harden. That's, you know, a shorter process of it having to harden overnight because it's already hardened as an air. Now, if it gets this hard, you, you just lost that. You're not gonna be able to use it. But just, and then you can tap a little at the top of your bead so that the next bead you put on sits on it. You don't have to worry about it moving. So again, I just start this. Ooh, you don't wanna do that. Hold your balls, girl, hold your balls. Put that on there. Y'all, I'm stupid, I ain't got no sense. Oh, I got that one just right. I measured it fine. So now since this one is here, I'm going to add a little bit more glue. Actually, I did mismeasure that. So because because I'm saying, well, you know what, guys, guess what? This can be my guy one and then I can just do another black and gold one. Because once you get about here and you have that much off, can you see that? Well, that's almost about the size of your end cap. And I glue my end cap back on too. So that is about the size of that. So what I'm gonna do is just leave that just like that and slide my end cap on. And we're gonna claw this one done. Yep, fits perfect. Fits perfect. So we got black and gold. Black and gold to the super boo. And that's that. And that is how I do my beaded rose clips. So we don't, I feel like a guy would use this because it's simple, it's black and gold, it's saints. If he smokes, he's okay with it. It's not blingy, you know, as I'm gonna probably make the other one for a girl. I might add one to it and call it a set for the couple that's a Saints fan or whoever is in black and gold that smokes. And um, just wipe off any of your excess glue. I keep baby wipes near me because I use them for everything. I clean my domino molds with baby wipes because they are a charm. Baby wipes, uh, pet wipes. So yeah, guys, that's the martini. That is that. Oh, so what happened with this one is it was a little too long. There's a, t it, it came through the top. Let's check the rest. So since I know that, guess what? Good old wire cutters. Cut that off, cause we don't want to hurt nobody. It ain't gonna hurt nobody. Or pull it off while you still, ooh, look at that E6000, baby. Pull it off while you still can. And cut the tip. Saying cut the tip, Ronald, man, he probably not gonna like to hear those words, but you know, y'all know where I'm going with it. After a comment like, hold your balls and saying, cut the tip. I don't know what kind of video this is. 
All right, so I added a little bit more glue since I took that off and I'm just gonna slide this back on. And we should be good. We should be good. Mm-hmm. I'm just wiping off the excess glue that kind of smushed down when it came, you'll be able to get that off the more it hardens, but you don't want it to get too hard and you're trying to fight to get it off because then it won't work. And okay, so at this point, find something that's thin, that stands up, like maybe this bowl had my other beads in it, where you can do this so it'll stand up and dry so you know that it's straight when it does. Or if you trust them laying down and you're gonna constantly check to make so you, sure your beads are not, you know, getting out of whack, then you can uh, come back and and do that. Apparently that, that um, cause I only cut off a little bit and look at the size of these two. That's crazy. And I know they were all the same size when I bought them, so that's crazy. But even this one, maybe it's just the beading, but I feel like they should all stand the same. Doesn't matter, but here they are. All right, guys, so that is the way I do my beaded uh, alligator clips. Because again, I don't wanna just call them roach clips for weed herb, whatever. I see people using these um, to hold their credit cards, slide their credit cards into ATM machines. I've seen ladies use uh, wire from, I think it's like a 16 or 20 gauge or maybe 20 or 24 gauge wire from Michaels to make these where it bends and it's called the bracelet helper. So you clamp one side, curve it around and have it attached to the other side. That's a good idea for these. Uh, like I said, credit card holders, anything that you, I guess, don't want to touch that you can grab this with ladies with long nails. If you got long nails and you're trying to smoke, grab or do whatever, this could be very helpful for you. Um, these are good gifts for someone that you know would appreciate one handmade and two something that they know is theirs if they see somebody else with it. So visit my website, visit my website, www.imposinggestures.com. I am also on Instagram at Imposing Gestures. I am also on Facebook at Imposing Gestures 1. And you can always find me here on YouTube, posting videos, watching videos, liking videos, sharing videos, subscribing to channels. By the way, all those things I just mentioned, do that for me. Like my videos. If you don't like it, hell, put the thumbs down, say you don't like it. Um, Share my videos, subscribe to my channel so you can see more projects and things that I do because guys, I do so many different things and I have decided that I would share that information and show people how I do certain things versus how other people might be because you know, just you see things one way doesn't mean that's the way you have to do it. You can always improvise and come up with your way of doing it. And that is it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.